Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of SP Tech. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to access the files and folders in your iPod Touch. This means you can install applications manually, you can change the skins, the look of your iPod uh, via SSH. And when I say SSH, I mean secure shell. And what that means, it's a method of transferring files between two devices on the same Wi-Fi uh, network. Okay, so let's get started. First on the computer, we're going to be using a program called WinSCP right here. Um, it's a free SFTP, FTP, and SCP client for Windows. I'm reading that off the website. And for the current version is 4.14. So I've just downloaded and installed that. You can go to the link in the sidebar and download it directly from there. Uh, there is WinSCP right there. So once that's installed on your computer, you can go ahead and go on your iPod. Okay, now that we're at our iPod, go ahead and wake it up. Go ahead and go to installer. I'm going to go to the install tab. Now go to all packages. And in the search bar, type in open SSH. Open. And there it is. I'm going to install that. Okay. Now, we're going to need to go back to all packages and install boss prefs. That is what uh, lets you activate the uh, open SSH because it doesn't show it up on the springboard. So go to B O S S P R E F boss prefs. Install that. Very neat application. This is from the big boss repo. Now I'm going to exit out. After you exit, you'll see a new icon on the springboard called Boss Prefs, right there. Now you'll see that a new category called SSH. Go ahead and turn that on if it's not on already. So, um, now there's one thing you need to notice. There's Wi-Fi right there. So right now my IP address is 10.0.0.7 and that name number changes every time I reboot my iPod. So right now I'm going to remember that number 10.0.0.7 and it doesn't have to be 10.0.0.7 it could be something else. It can be 198.192. Point something something something. So it all depends on what kind of router you have and uh, what its preferences are. And uh, whenever you SSH you, you should always um, turn off sleep mode so you should do the auto lock to never. Change the auto lock to never. Right there. Never. So it doesn't turn off. And you're going to have to leave it plugged in so it has sufficient power and um, leave it connected to Wi Fi and just leave it idle like that. So now that we've turned on SSH and installed it, let's go back to our computer. Okay, now that we're back on our computer, you're going to go ahead and open up the WinSCP program that you installed previously. You'll see a window similar to this. Go ahead and type in the number that I told you to remember. In my case, it was 10.0.0.7. And remember, this is different for every computer or iPod. And it changes every time your iPod reboots, so you have to enter it differently every single time. So remember port number 22. Use the, the user number is ROOT, root. Password is ALPINE, Alpine. ALPINE. Login. Hit login. After a while, you will be successfully looking at the files of your iPod Touch. They're right here. Library. So I'm going to go all the way up to my applications folder. And those are all my applications. So that's basically how you SSH into your iPod. Um, you can edit stuff. If you go look around, you can edit the mail images. See these images. Like, let's see. It's a ping image. You can change uh, permissions. 0664. You can do a lot of other things, but just be careful. You don't want to mess up your iPod too much. Um, in that case, you'll just have to do a restore, but if you have a lot of apps, then that is a uh, big deal. So, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe. 
or comment, rate, um, anything, and you'll get my, uh, I'll try to reply as quick as possible, so thanks for watching again, and have a great summer.